Hey guys, so in today's mini tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the Procreate's new feature or new adjustment feature that we have now after the Procreate 5X, which is gradient map. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this feature is first, um, I didn't talk about it in detail in my Procreate update video. And also, there's a lot of confusion going on with this specific feature. So without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. So as you guys must have noticed, we have little feature right here, which is gradient map. Now we have two options for this. One is pencil and one is layer. Now, if you have watched the procreate update video then you know what it means so pencil basically means you can actually manipulate the feature or the filter with just using your pencil and layer means it is going to apply the filter all over the layer now the problem here is when i apply this onto the layer this doesn't really look like a usual gradient as we see on photoshop or any other software because there's a little confusion, this is not like the gradient we use on the plain background. Okay, let me just show you what I'm talking about. I just created these gradients right here just to show you an example. This gradient is not like this. And if you try to kind of apply this filter on a plain um, background, like I'm just going to show you. So this layer is filled. I'm just going to apply this gradient map onto the layer and you won't see any gradient effect onto a plain white background. Now the reason this is happening is gradient map is really not what you think it is. So what it actually means that it applies a gradient of color to your image depending on the tones of the image. Now what does that mean actually? So let me just show you guys real quick. I'm just going to open it up. So let's just suppose I'm using Mystic. Now we have this really dark blue color on the left and really like saturated kind of pink color on the right. Now what it means is this gradient map or this effect actually applies this darker blue color onto the darker shades or shadows of the image or the painting that you are doing so whatever color there is on the left hand side of this bar this is just going to be applied automatically on the dark shadows and dark shades basically and the color right here which is um, on the right hand side is automatically going to be applied on the lighter shades of the painting so that's how gradient map actually works. So let me just go ahead and pick up another one. So here we have this really dark blue color on the really left. And then we have this really purple kind of color. You call these little box which are in between color stops. Even on the uh, extremes like on the left hand side and on the right hand side you call them color stops. So what if we have these color stops right in the middle of that bar it means that all of the mid-tones that you have on your painting just going to change to this specific color now if this on the left hand side it is going to change the darker mid-tone i should say and if it is on the right it is going to be applied on the lighter shades or tones i hope that makes sense you guys and you guys can actually go ahead and change these colors by yourself as you can see as i am going in the lighter section of this color wheel all of those um, darker shades or tones are becoming white so you just have to keep in mind this simple principle that everything on the left no matter what color it is it's going to be applied on the darker tones of your paintings and whatever is on the right hand side of your painting is going to be applied on the lighter tones of your painting now guys the only thing i didn't really like about this filter is that this filter doesn't have any opacity controller which is quite annoying like i'm not gonna go ahead and apply this 
heavy filter onto my paintings and I am not really in control of how much of it I want. As you guys can see, even if I go lighter, this is going to fade out my painting a bit more. So that's something I didn't really like. But if you are someone you are not really into portrait paintings, maybe then I think this is going to be helpful for you or useful for you. But yeah, it is still a good, good tool. If you are someone into lettering, you can actually apply this onto your letters and it will look beautiful. So let me just try that as well. So I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to be adding some text to it like that. So I'm just going to try it now. Just look at that letter. It looks so good. So I think it's actually really useful if you are into lettering or something like that. You can actually add these gradients um, onto the letters and keeping in mind where you want a certain type of color, keeping in mind the gradient map that I just explained to you guys. So that's about gradient map. So you guys, that is it for today's quick quick video. And this is if you guys want me to um, talk about a specific feature that you guys might be confused with, then just do let me know down in the comment section below. And also give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I post every Monday and Friday. And also do not forget to check out my Procreate update tutorial. I go through each and every feature that came in with the new update. And other than that, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys the next time.